Hi, Dominica here from EasySewingForBeginners.com. In this video today, I'll be showing you how to make my favorite placemats. They are fantastic if you have kids in the house because they have a laminated cotton top and they have a grip mat backing. Okay, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to make them. Let's get started. Okay, so to make these grippy laminated cotton placemats, you'll need your grip mat. And I've got this grip mat here, which I got from a cheapy shop, but you can find it online um, from places like Amazon. Uh, I've got some laminated cotton here. Uh, I've also got some matching thread, uh, along with some wonder clips. Um, I'm going to be using these instead of pins, as they don't put holes in the fabric, which will be perfect. And I also recommend a chopstick for turning the corners out um, when you turn the placemat right side out. Um, you also need your basic sewing supplies like your sewing machine um, and a walking foot if you have one. I highly recommend a walking foot and you'll see that in this video uh, along with some kind of um, cutting tools. I cut my fabric um, and grippy mat with my rotary cutter, ruler and cutting mat but you can easily do it with um, your ruler a marker and some scissors as well. Okay, these ones are all cut to size and ready to go and I'm working with um, a mat that is 14 and a half inches by 12 inches. Okay, so once you have your fabric cut to size, you can have it any size that you want. I'm going with 14 and a half inches by 12 inches. You need to start with your laminated cotton right side up and then place your grip mat on top of that. And I'm just gonna use the wonder clips to clip them together so they don't shift around while I'm sewing. Now, because the fabric um, or the grip mat is grippy, it won't shift all that much. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put a clip here and this will be where I'm going to start sewing. And I'm gonna put another one on this side here and that's where I'm going to finish my sewing. I'm actually going to leave a large gap here for turning. Okay, so that's all clipped together and ready to take over to the sewing machine and start sewing. So here you can see the walking foot on my machine and the walking foot is really helpful because it actually has feed dogs um, at the top up here. So not only do you have the feed dogs down the bottom to help pull your fabric through, you also have the feed dogs at the top, okay, which will definitely help with the grippy fabric. Okay, so now I'm almost ready to sew. I'm just going to change my stitch length to a three for this project. And I'm actually going to be lining up the edge of my placemat with the edge of my foot. And I'm going to do about a three eighths of an inch seam allowance so I'm just going to line up the fabric there and move my foot over slightly okay and now I'm ready to sew don't forget to back stitch to secure that stitching in Now just a little tip, when you get to the corners, stop with the needle in the down position. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my placemat on a 45 degree angle and I'm going to do one stitch on the angle. And then I'm going to turn it the rest of the way around. And having that stitch in the corner there on the angle will help me turn the corners out really nicely. And just be sure to back stitch at the end here too. Okay, so now that we've finished sewing the two pieces together, I'm going to snip off any thread, thread tails that are left behind. And then what I'm going to do is just snip off the excess fabric from the corners. Okay, so now we're going to get the placemat ready for top stitching. So because we can't iron the fabric, 
I'm going to use the Wonder Clips to hold down the edges. So I'm going to untuck as much as I can because sometimes the edges don't come out all the way. And just to hold it out, I'm just going to put a Wonder Clip on there. And I'm going to do that all the way around. When you get to this side here with the opening, just try and fold the seam allowance in so it's level with the edges on the side here. Okay, now we're ready to take this over to the sewing machine for top, stitch, top stitching. Okay, so I have my sewing machine set up now with a cream colour thread in my bobbin to match the cream colour grippy mat and I've got black up the top to match the best I can with my fabric at the top. Uh, I've got my stitch length set to a three and I'm going to be lining the edge of the placemat up with this part of my presser foot. I like to use parts of my presser foot as a guide. And I'm also going to move the needle over so uh, I have about an eighth of an inch gap between the edge of the placemat and my stitch line. So just eyeballing it. All right, happy with that. All right, and off I go. Don't forget to back stitch at the beginning to secure that thread. Now once you get to the corner, don't forget to stop with the needle in the down position or use your hand wheel to put the needle in the down position. Lift your presser foot up and pivot. And you might just need to help by gently pulling it along just to help those feed dogs grab it initially. And don't forget to back stitch once you reach the end. Okay, and that's the top stitching done. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Let me know down below if you have any questions or comments about making these laminated cotton groupie placemats. They can be a little bit challenging if you haven't worked with the materials before, but overall, I think you'll be happy with them. Okay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy sewing.